we're gonna have a little, uh, kind of a little video documentary on how to prepare uh, Canada Goose. Uh, this is a little recipe I've tried and proven a couple of times. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take this goose breast and we're gonna kind of, kind of a butterfly it th uh, three times. And then we're gonna drop it into a solution of water and uh, kosher salt to kind of soak the blood out of it. We'll, we'll actually do that process twice before we uh, we get into the next uh, process of marinating it. So if I can find my fillet knife here. What we'll normally do, just kind of start with the first section here and I'll, I'll butterfly it, kind of like you're filleting a fish. Hope I do this right. Don't cut all the way through and then flip it over like this and then we'll, we'll cut into the next section and and fillet this so we're actually going to butterfly it twice so we'll end up with one wide piece of meat and uh, in a few minutes when we we get ready with the rest of the preparation you'll see why this is important you know we're actually gonna put some barbecue sauce in here and some peppers we're gonna roll it up and bacon wrap it and we're gonna cook it over a mesquite smoker anyway uh, after we take these uh, and butterfly them we're going to soak it in this solution of uh, kosher salt and water. We'll probably let it set in here about 30 minutes and then we'll, it'll, the water will get kind of bloody. We'll pour the water off. We'll repeat the process before we uh, move on to the next step. So, okay, stay tuned. Okay, we've uh, gone through our second stage of uh, the brine uh, soaking here with the meat. So I'm going to pour this water off here and then we're going to put our marinade in there. You can use just about, you know, whatever you like. Uh, I've used a Cajun injector seasoning. In this case here, we're just going to use a little zesty Italian. I'm just going to sprinkle it over the top. It's just going to sit there for about 30 minutes. I'm going to flop it around a little bit, make sure the meat gets covered really good. After, after we let it soak for about 30 or 45 minutes, uh, we'll take it out and we'll... Uh, take it through the next stage of the preparation here with the barbecue sauce and the peppers. So we'll just kind of set it over here for about 45 minutes and we'll come back in a little bit. Okay, in our last segment we um, soaked the meat in the brine. Now we've put it in a marinade. In this case here we used a little zesty Italian. So I'm going to show you the next process here. We're going to take one of these butterflied goose breasts out. What a beautiful piece of meat. We're going to take it, in this case here we're going to use a little sweet baby rays. Okay? Hot, sweet and spicy. I'm going to put a little bit of barbecue sauce on it. Just not, not so much, just a little bit to kind of cover it like butter and a piece of bread. Okay? Covered it with a little barbecue sauce and then I'm going to take some fresh jalapeno slices probably about four per breast is all you really need we're gonna kind of roll this up like a little sweet roll then we're gonna wrap it in bacon so anyway here's our first one we're gonna take it kind of roll it up again kind of like a little sweet roll here okay I got it rolled up a little piece of bacon. Best thing to do with a bacon, don't buy thick slab bacon, just buy some kind of cheap skinny bacon, I call it. And um, we'll start wrapping it. It'll probably take maybe two or three pieces of bacon per breast here. Stick it through, I'm gonna bring this around again. Oops. Supposed to happen. Okay. This part's kind of messy, but it'll work. Another bamboo stick through here. Bring it 
around like that. And then I usually like to run one long rise. Again, this is the messiest part of the whole deal, but I take one and I run it longwise through here like that. Kind of just hold all the bacon on is all I'm trying to do. Then I got some wire snippers. Pretty good for snipping bamboo shoots. done yet. Hang on. Okay, next process. In this case here, we're going to use a little chubacabra. And we're just going to sprinkle it on the outside like this. A little bit all around it. Okay. We're ready for the grill. Okay? So in a few minutes, we'll see the next step. Okay, we're finally at this process where we finally get to put it on the grill. Well, these little goose breasts aren't gonna be by themselves. They already have some company because we have some uh, pork cooking on here. Anyway, this is kind of what the finished product looks like. After we've bacon wrapped it, we're gonna put four of these little guys on here. If you're cooking this at about 325, I would say about an hour and a half is probably all you need. You can actually cook them a little hotter. Let's say you got it at 400, um, hour and a half. Anyway, more to come. Okay, we're at the final process here where the, the rubber meets the road or the meat meets the foil. It fits it to come off the grill right now. We have uh, four beautiful goose poppers here. I cooked them pretty hot at about 350 to 400. Uh, you want to kind of get the bacon to brown on the outside. But on the inside, I used a, a meat thermometer. Uh, this little guy right here. Just just like when I'm cooking uh, baked chicken, I try to get it to about 165. You can use the same uh, parameters for this right here. So anyway, this is ready to go. I'll come back later for this uh, pork, but uh, right now it's all about the goose. Okay, we got these puppies off the grill here, and I'm going to show you how to serve them. Best way to do it, just cut them like a sweet roll. Look at that. I'm telling you, this is going to be so good. Uh, tender it is. Marinated with a little pepper in the middle. best way in the world to eat Canada goose.